morning, and welcome to another edition of HBTV News. I'm Sandra Ringhofer. And I'm Phoebe Carlson. Yesterday, our country celebrated Patriots Day. Patriots Day is a day for us to honor the memory of those who lost their lives in the September 11th attacks. First responders, like firefighters and police officers, acted very bravely that day and continue to show bravery every day. This week, if you see a first responder, thank them for all they do. Recess is one of the best parts of our day, right Sandra? Definitely, but we have to make sure we're following the recess expectations. Let's go over those right now. No tumbling, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Do not hang upside down outside. <laughs> You are not allowed to hold a swing for somebody else. You may not play tag on the playground. If you bring a football, you can use it to play catch outside. But you can't play tackle or play games. Keep your hands to yourself at all times. And when the whistle blows, please make sure to go line up. September is the National Library Card Month. To celebrate, the Oyland Park Library is having a competition between all the schools in our district. If you're at the Oyland Park Public Library this month, please stop in the children's section and show your library card to one of the librarians. This will earn one point for high point. The school that has the most students show their card will win a prize for their library. Our field reporter, Olivia, is with Miss Gilbert to find out more information about the fun library competition. I'm here with Miss Gilbert. Can you please tell us about the library card contest? Sure. Yeah, this is a really exciting opportunity for us in honor of National Library Card Month. So here's a few things you need to know. If you don't have a library card for the Orland Park Public Library, you can get one. You just have to bring a grown-up to the library. And then, if you go to the library and you show those librarians your library card, have someone take a picture of you doing it. And the next time you come to the library, you can airdrop the picture to me and I will put it in the newscast. So we'll have a little segment of all the kids who showed their library card at the public library. And then also one last thing, if our school wins the competition, I will let every student have a four book checkout for one week as our reward. You have until the end of the month, September 30th, so bring your family to the Orland Park Public Library, show them your library card or get a library card and hopefully we will win. This week we will be taking the reading and math math tests. To help us prepare for these important tests, our field reporter, Audrey, will share some tips for success. So today I will be telling you about some tips and tricks for math testing. First things first, a good sleep can go a really long way. You want to eat a really good breakfast. And what I want you to do is take a piece of scrap paper. You don't always need to do mental math. You need to take as much time as needed. Do your best. Try your best. Hi, so I recently read about the Magic Kitten Star Dreams by um, Sue Bentley. It's a really cool book. It's about um, a kitten who is a prince and his name is Flame. And he has to hide from his uncle. So he go, disguises himself as um, a kitten that looks like this. And he goes into um, the human world and meets a human named Gemma. And Flame helps Gemma until he has to go back um, to his world to find a different place to hide from his uncle. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Audrey Powers, Olivia Watney, Sandra Ringhofer, and Phoebe Carlson. Signing off, have a wonderful day. This newscast brought to you by the High Point Media Team.